Hey there, horn players. I am going to help you with your next playing test here. This is also the Wind Ensemble Audition. Um, I'm going to play through a few sections of this piece, helping you with some of the, the trickier spots, help you with your counting and general style. It's very important before we start playing that you take a look at the fact that most of the notes have staccatos on them. We want to keep them very separated and light. Um, we are in 6-8 time, and the best way to think about this is two beats um, where the dotted quarter note gets the beat. So thinking about it as one and a two and a one and a two, one, a two, a one and a two, one, a two, a one and a two. What that's going to sound like if I play that first phrase, a little bit like this. First of all, I want to make sure I have a nice clear low C and I'm starting on the right partial. And then it's just going to go up the scale from there. The next phrase starts on that D that I just ended on. And I am now at the trickiest spot of the whole piece. I'm going to practice that section a few times because I have to remember to adjust my embouchure and have plenty of air support as I go from the G up to the high E. Okay, that measure you're going to want to practice a bunch of times. Even me, I've done it a few times, but I need to practice it a little bit more to make it clean and ready for performance tempo. I'm going to skip the first ending and go right to the second ending. So for example, I'm going to start in the third line right now. I'm going to go C, E, D. Just like that, except hopefully you play it better. Um, the last, the second ending can all be played forte with good air support, but don't let it get heavy. Even though I'm playing at a forte dynamic, I'm going to keep my tongue light and my air moving fast. And I end on that C a full octave higher than where I started. Uh, there are very few accidentals in this piece. Look out for the F sharp in the middle of the second line. Um, again, leave space when you see those eighth rests, and leave space between all of your staccato notes. We don't want this piece to get mushy um, or heavy at any time. It should stay very light and dance-like. Your goal is to play it as fast as you can while still keeping it clean. It's better to go a little slower and let the pitches be accurate rather than going too fast and rushing through it. Hopefully this little tutorial helps you uh, as you prepare for the playing test. If you have specific questions, I can help you with those. But this gives you a basic idea of how to play number 18, uh, the horn playing test.